I know we all been there where you be on Netflix fucking scrolling for like 30 minutes and you like, no, 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 hell no, no. Then you be like, hmm, let's see what this is about. And then you click it, you be like, damn, this is good. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Sam the Don, and I am back. I'm back. Yep, you heard me. I'm back with another video. And today's video, plain and simple, is going to be my top 10 Netflix suggestions of 2021 for you. Yep, my Netflix suggestions. So if you a binge watcher, if you got Netflix, if you like to watch TV, if you like movies, if you, this video is for you, plain and simple, plain and simple, this video is for you. Yeah, let's get on, let's get into the video. Hey, hey. Okay, y'all, so I just went through my Netflix and I got some good ass, some good ass, I said, I got some good ass suggestions for y'all. So let's get to it because like, y'all like, ah. I'm like really geek because I've been watching some good ass shows like I just went through my watch again at my list and I'm like why the fuck haven't I finished this so let's go ahead and get into some things so boom all right the first show I recommend for y'all to watch is jump rope please boom the 100 okay so the 100 is like one of my favorite shows like I remember when I first started watching the 100 like when I tell y'all, I went, I was started on season one, episode one, of course, I literally blinked, I was on season three, like, no lie, like, the show is so good, so, it's about 100 delinquents from space, because in the show, they live in space, because, like, the world ended, like, centuries, well, not ended, or something happened to Earth, I don't know, if, I think it was, like, a bomb or something, so, like, Earth was not, Earth was not, like, livable no more, so, they went to space, so, boom. I don't know, like decades, whatever, how long go on, boom. They send these 100 delinquents because like up there, it was like strict rules. Bitch, watch it to the end. Uh, I got a text. Okay, fuck, you just fucked up my train of thought, you stupid bitch. Okay, so um, up there, like rules are strict. Okay, so there, like they would float people. That's called like killing them. So, but if you was under 18, you would just go basically like jail like, you know, solitary confinement. And then on your 18th birthday, you would have a hearing on if you would be floated or be able to come back. So boom, they took a hundred delinquents and instead of like, you know, them getting a hearing, they took them to earth because they wanted to see if earth was livable. And then like that is just like when all the shit start happening, like, like, I mean, this is like a good show. It's love, it's fighting. Like you see like people overcoming like trauma. Like it is just all around that show for real. I don't want to say too much and spoil it. And I'm not really riding tomatoes. I'm not really about to go all in depth on the review because I got a lot of shows to get to. Next one. Okay, Gossip Girl. Okay, let me get into Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl is about these like, rich kids in New York and they go to like, you know, like a nice little bougie ass school where they got to wear the uniform and stuff like that. And basically Gossip Girl it's like a girl who just be knowing all the drama, all the tea. And like, it's just, you gotta keep watching because once you find out who Gossip Girl is, you're gonna be like, <laughs> okay, but basically like, yeah. So it's just like, you know, I'm a sucker for teen drama. So it was, it's really good, but it's like, what is Gossip Girl like really about? Like, it's about, girl, I'm finna look up these reviews on Google and get y'all that. Because honestly, child, me explaining, I'm gonna make it sound a mess. So basically I was right. Yeah, Gossip Girl is just about like, so Gossip Girl always like got like a blog and like be texting everybody and Gossip Girl be knowing everything and always just like keep the drama going. Like, now the next show, 90210. I remember when I was a kid when 90210 used to come on TV and I could never watch it. Like, I don't know why, but I never got into it. I remember my mama and my auntie used to, you know, both watch it and stuff. And I used to always be like, y'all always watching this show. But child, now that I'm older and I binge watched it on Netflix for myself, 90210 is that show. Like, okay, so basically 90210 is about a uh, mom and a dad and a brother and a sister. And the brother is black because he's adopted. And basically they move to California. I think they go to, I think Beverly Hills is 90210. They go to the 90210, period. And like, basically like these kids, like, 
it just be a lot of drama. Like, it be a lot of stuff going on. Like, they be going at it. Rich kid problems can't relate. But you need to watch it because it's good, okay? And then now we finna talk about good girls. Good girls, let me tell you. Good Girls is that show. So Good Girls is about two, it's about three mamas, two of them white, one of them's black. And basically they not like poor, but they not rich, but they could definitely use some extra cash. And I actually think like one of them was actually really going broke. So like she was really like stressing. So then that's when they came up with the idea to like rob a grocery store. And after that, uh, these when these mamas wasn't your average mamas. They became, they became criminal mamas. Like mamas start, they start printing fake money, going to buy all the shit, and they will return it to get real money. Then they start working, working with like a gang. So like them girls got in deep. Like they got in deep. So you need to watch Good Girls. Next on my list is Ozarks. I'm pretty sure a lot of people heard about Ozarks. Ozarks is a good ass show. So basically it's about a dad. And if I'm not, I don't really remember it too much. Cause like I watched Ozarks a minute ago. And like y'all, I watch a lot of shows. Like, I prefer to watch TV shows on Netflix. So like I will literally watch seven seasons in a week and then move on to some like next week. So Ozarks, if I can't remember, but the dad, was into money laundering or he wasn't, but his partner, his, so a dad has, so the dad, the, which is one of the main characters had a partner in the beginning. And like, I guess they was into money laundering and the, or the dude was working with crooked people. No, the dude was working with crooked people and the dad didn't know about it. And they killed the, um, his partner and the dad had to basically like, so he like, you know, he was thinking fast on his feet. He's like, let me get the money to you. Da, 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 da. So basically the dad moved his family to like a small town, the Ozarks. And basically what he do is like, basically he just start money laundering there. Like he opened up businesses and stuff and do all this. It's a lot of shit going on in Ozarks. So basically in Ozarks, a dad has to move his family to the middle of nowhere, which I believe is called the Ozarks. Because like basically, him and his partner somewhere else had a lot of shit going on with some money laundering and all that. So basically his friend got killed, but the dad's still alive. That's how he's able to move his family. So he like, you know, trying to pay off this debt to like the Mexican cartel because they owe them money. Like the dude and his partner, like the dad and his partner owe them money. So he got to pay them debts back. So basically that's why he moved his family to the middle of nowhere so that he can pay off that debt. Boom. Like that show good. Like, it's like really good. Ozarks is good. I binge watched Ozarks so quick. Like, it's crazy. All right, the next show on my list is a show that's probably not as popular because I don't see a lot of people talk about this show. Like, I don't think I have a friend to talk about this show to. So this show is called Toy Boy. It's about a male stripper who um, was messing around with like a rich um, wife and stuff and her husband and like, or something happened and the husband was killed and the, um, and the male stripper got framed for it by the rich woman he was messing around with because she framed him for it. So basically, like, he go to jail for a couple years. He gets out. I can't remember why because I watched the show a while back. But he get out. So now he got a DA or not a DA. I mean, now he got a public offender, if that's the right word. Like, a public defender. Y'all know a public, the people who, like, yeah, the free little lawyers you get when you go to jail or whatever. He get one of those. And um, basically, like, she trying to help him and stuff. Like, basically, she trying to help, like, you know save him like you know because she know he didn't do it or she believe he didn't do it so like basically she like just help him in it it's a lot of good shit it's a good show all right the next show on my list is pose i don't date so pose is about transgenders who live in new york and like they have houses you know like houses is like basically like where they all live together, like people who've been abandoned, don't have a family, don't have nowhere to go. So they live in houses and at night they go to balls and balls is like where they go to, um, uh, Vogue, Vogue, they, you know, Vogue where they be like, <clears throat> and stuff like that. Like, it's a good show. Like, it is so good. Like, it is like really a good ass show. And it's like also like got a lot of real elements to it too from like Tom, like like about like the AIDS breakout, like when AIDS first came around and like just how like really, it was like really like something big. Like, and that was like something that was like really like big. You know what I mean? Like, you get what I'm trying to say. But yeah, the show's good and it's like, 
It's like a lot of drama in this show. It be a lot going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot going on. You need to watch Pose. The next show on my list is Dynasty. Dynasty was my favorite show. Like when I tell you, I binge watched that so quick, quick. Dynasty is about basically family dynasties, like rich ass white families with money. Okay, rich ones. And then it is a black family in there too that end up being related to one of the fucking rich white families. And it's just so crazy. But basically, Dynasty is about like, yeah, family dynasty. So you already know it's a lot of drama. It'd be a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. Like, let me think of how to explain this show besides just telling y'all that it's about family dynasties. Let me think. I can't. Because literally, that's what the show is about. It's about, like, family dynasties. And dynasty is so good because, like, I feel like that is really how I be in real life. Like, when you got money, like, family dynasties and those people, those be the ones who really run shit. Those be the ones that really be responsible for some of the shit that be fucking going on. I'm telling you. Come on. Okay. Call me cliche. Say what you want. The next show on my list is The Walking Dead. Like, I remember The Walking Dead has been around for a long time. But I remember when I was younger, I never watched it. Like, I used to like, but I had a cousin who did. And I remember I used to be like, uh-uh, like, I don't know, like, I don't know. But, like, I always loved zombie shows, like, um, like zombie movies. Because I remember Zombie Land used to be my favorite movie. So, as I got older, I remember I watched it. I started watching The Walking Dead in high school. And then, like, I kind of, like, lost track. And then, like, recently, I finally finished it, and I'm like, whoa, hold on, this show's still good. So, basically, y'all, you know what The Walking Dead is about, and if you don't, let me tell you. The Walking Dead is, like, basically, the world, done. Ran by, it ain't ran by humans no more, it's ran by zombies. So, basically, it's like a zombie apocalypse, and they living in zombie times. And, so, basically, with this one... It's like, so basically it follows like Rick, his son, his wife, and his, well, basically this, the show revolves around like, it starts off following like Rick Grimes and like, you know, his family and stuff. And like, everybody just loved Rick because Rick was a police officer before it happened. So Rick was like, kind of just like always the man in charge. And it's like, The Walking Dead, it's just like each season changes so much. Like, I can't even really tell you what The Walking Dead is about. But, so basically the moral, the gist of The Walking Dead, boom, zombie apocalypse, following different survivors and they struggles and how they survive. Good ass show. Like, like I don't know how else to explain it because like I say, every season changes. The next on my list is The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Like I literally just finished this one. Because I had I was slacking. Part four came out December thirty first, and I'm just now finishing it. But the Chilla Adventures of Sabrina is about Sabrina, and on her sixteenth birthday, she find out she's a witch, and then she's kind of like torn between two worlds. Like she still wants to live a normal life at high school with her friends, but she also does want to learn more about her witch side and become a witch. So then, boom, we end up. So then, like, boom, she end up like living both lives, and like. It's good, like, the Chilla Bitches of Sabrina is a good-ass show. Like, sometimes I'll be just, like, when I be watching shows like that, I'll be like, like, damn, if anybody watching this and you a witch, like, damn, come find me. Like, can I learn some powers? Can you teach me some? Like, or do I have to be born one? Like, come on, like, do some touch me. Give me some witch powers. Like, damn. But, yeah, Chilla Bitches of Sabrina, good-ass show. All right, the next show I'm going to tell y'all about. It's called Tiny Pretty Things. And this is a newer show. And I binge watched this in like three days. Like when winter break first started and I went home for college, I went back home. When I tell y'all, I would watch this show like every night I would come home. Like from being out with my friends until like I'd be up to them near like six, seven, eight in the morning. Like I'll be up when my mama leave for work. She'll be like, boy, what are you doing? I'll be like watching this show. But Tiny Pretty Things is about like basically it's about these talented ass, talented ass kids who do ballet and they go to like this fancy ass ballet school and like basically like the school ain't as all cracked out as it's like very prestigious but the school ain't all cracked out 
ain't as all cracked out as it seems to be. Like, the school really is, like, crazy. Like, it's a whole lot of shit going on behind the scenes that people don't know about. And, yeah, boom, I forgot to tell y'all. The show starts off, like, you know from the jump that one of the star students just died. Like, she, like, committed suicide and jumped off a roof. But, boom, she didn't die. She's in the hospital, and she's, um... In a coma. So then that's when the, the the main character, the new student, is this black girl. We love it, black power. A black girl. She like the and she from like Ingle she from Inglewood or Compton, like one of the two. I think she from Compton. Yeah, she from a girl they took a, they get a black girl from Compton and they bring her on to school. But the school only do that to like, you know, cover up the bullshit that you know, they don't want all that shit getting out. So what you do is you you know, you get a black girl who can dance, you know, and they try to flip the tables and like basically like you know, like this is the new star. But she ain't going for none of that shit. Like she finding out this school ain't as good as what it's to be, and she's making it her motherfucking job to take them down, okay? Watch Tiny Pretty Things. Okay, now the last two I'm gonna give y'all are movies because I I just realized like when I made my list, like I gave y'all all TV shows. What about my people who like movies? So I'm gonna get, so the first movie I'm gonna talk about is called What Keeps You Alive? And like, I just came across this movie one night when I was just on Netflix scrolling. I know we all been there where you be on Netflix fucking scrolling for like 30 minutes and you like, no, 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 hell no, no. Then you'd be like, hmm, let's see what this is about. And then you click it, you be like, damn, this is good. The Netflix guys was on my side today, okay? All right, so what keeps you alive is about these two um, women, they are in a relationship and they go to one of the girls like family cabins or something for the weekend boom so they do that and like it's just and then like when they get there one of them just like she, it's just like a lot of stuff like things start happening and she getting a bad feeling so yeah like she get a bad feeling like it's just too much shit going it's like it's like weird shit going on and she's like uh-uh something ain't adding up so boom, let me just skip and try to, let me just explain this the best way I can. This show really show you right here. You never know who the you dealing with. You never know. Like people are really crazy. Like you could be in a relationship with somebody and you could love somebody. Whole time this motherfucker be schizo psycho wanting to kill you. Okay. Just like for real. That movie was crazy. Like y'all got to watch it. Like I really cannot explain this movie. Let me look it up on Netflix. I mean Netflix. Let me look it up on Google. I'm going to read y'all the description. Because I feel like if I try to tell you the movie, I'm going to spoil it. Hold on. What keeps you alive? Oh, it's a Canadian film, too. Didn't know that. Okay, it says, what keeps you alive is Jackie and Jules are a couple celebrating their first anniversary at a secluded cabin in the woods belonging to Jackie's family. So, like I said, told them, you know, it's a couple and they go into a cabin. I just forgot to mention it was their anniversary. And from the moment they arrive, something changes in Jules' normally loving wife. As Jackie begins to reveal a previously unknown dark side, all building up to a shocking revelation that will pit Jules against the woman she loves in a terrifying fight to survive. Watch it. Okay? Now, if that didn't interest you, something's wrong with you. Okay? Okay, now, y'all, this is a sad moment because this is the last recommendation I got for y'all. Okay, but let's get to it, okay? Because I want to get into some things. The last recommendation I got for y'all is a movie, and it's called Circle. And it looked like it came out in 2015, is what Netflix said. And I'm just I'm seeing it, and it was like 2020. And I don't know hell, because this movie was so good. So basically, in Circle, it's, a, it, it's about 50 people. Like, 50 people just, like, wake up randomly, and they're, like, somewhere, like, locked. And they all standing like in a circle on these spots. And like basically like you got to execute somebody every round. Like every round when like this little thingy come, like you got to execute. So you ba everyone's like basically picks to choose who lives and who dies. So like let me give y'all an example. Say it's five of us in a room and I'm like, and it's me. Say it's a mama, it's a baby, and let's say it's somebody in here who don't understand English. Cause that was one. That was a, um, one in the movie. Somebody didn't know English. So basically, we all hear like, um, who dies? 
he should die. He doesn't know English. He can't understand us. Who's to say something, something, something? You know what? You get what I'm saying? So it's to kind of make a sense. And then it was like, she's just a kid. We can't vote for her. We don't vote for her. He keeps picking everybody. He's mean. He should die. Da, 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 da. So basically, it's just like that. But like, and I know that might sound boring. Like, really? That's like, they literally, that was like the whole setting of the movie. No lie. But it was so fucking good. And like, the end was like, what the fuck? You don't do people like that. Like, really? That, the way they ended that movie, I want to fight. I want to fight. I want to fight. But yeah. All right, y'all. That's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed my suggestions. If you've seen some of these and you got different opinions, let me know in the comments. If you like what I recommended, let me know in the comments. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I purposely let some shows out, too, because I feel like everyone watches them or, like, they're becoming a bit taboo. Like, that's everybody's show now. Like, Grey's Anatomy. Like, Grey's Anatomy used to be my favorite show. And it, I can't stand people who be like, um, I'm not watching a show about doctors in a hospital. Like, you never seen the fucking show. Because it's more than about that, baby. It'd be some juicy shit going on. Doctors having affairs in there. Doctors having sex in the hospital. Hey, hey. And it's just crazy. But all right, if you enjoyed this, my recommendations, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit that subscription button. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and like the video. And don't forget to leave me a comment, all right? That's it. That's the wrap. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gone. Hey. To go watch me some Netflix. That's literally what I'm about to do. Look, y'all. Hold on. Y'all see the Netflix? Yeah. I'll pause my Netflix for y'all. Y'all distracting me. I got to get back to it now. We had our fun, and I gave some recommendations, okay? All right. All right.